This is one of the world's oldest recorded team sports and has roots in ancient warfare. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be learning more about polo. Here goes Don Benica! Don Benica and Alfredo on our race! Look at those horses stretch! Look at them go! Are they going to make it? Is Don going to get that in? Yes! Whoa, 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 it's in! A beautiful run by Don Benica. So give us a brief explanation of kind of the aim of the game of polo. Well, the aim of the game is to score more goals than the other team. The field is 300 yards long, it's 160 yards wide, approximately the same area as nine American football fields. So the horse can cover a lot of ground several miles in one chucker. A chucker is the, uh, the period. It is seven and a half minutes of non-stop play. But if the whistle is blown for a foul in a fraction, the clock stops. It takes about 12 to 15 minutes to play a chucker. And a normal game would be six chuckers. And rule 18, the team that scores the most wins. What can you tell us about the origins and history of the sport? First recorded history about 2,500 years ago in Persia. And the British Army basically took it to all the Commonwealth countries. Argentina, I would say now, is the mecca of polo. That's where most of the horses come from, where the best players are from now, and uh, grooms, etc., etc. And what about the culture, traditions, and etiquette involved in the sport? It's a gentleman's sport, um, you know, a gentleman's sport played by gentlemen. A famous Argentine said once, you need hot blood and a cool head to play this game because it gets very, uh, very intense out there. What skills would you say are important to excel in polo? Well, riding is, is key, it's paramount. You gotta be a good rider to excel, but you need a game sense and you need terrific hand-eyeball coordination. I'd say it's a very humbling sport to learn because it takes you a while to get proficient at it. So tell us about the polo team and the different players and how it's broken down. The positions are one, two, three, and four. One being the most offensive and optimistic player on the field. Four being the most defensive. Two and three are the pivot positions. Usually the three is the captain of the team and the two the most aggressive, good rider, well-mounted which will try and cover off the number three on the other team. And what about important rules? Once you hit the ball, you establish a line of the ball. And that's your line, and you can keep going on that. Nobody can come in and intercede or cause you to pull up to miss that ball, cause an accident. You're allowed to hook. You're allowed to make contact with the rider, ride off, move him off the line, take the line on the other side of the ball. But all the rules are for safety. What are the different polo shots? The basic shot is the offside forehand where you hit off the right side of the horse. Then the near side forehand is off the left hand side of the horse. Near side back, see off the other side of the horse, and offside back here. Then there's a tail shot each way, neck shot each way. What equipment is necessary to play? You need a helmet, knee pads, and a mallet and a ball, and a horse. You need, you need a few horses. And what about polo ponies? Ponies is a term because when they originally started in Persia, Iran, this country, they were on smaller horses, ponies. It's just an expression. They're really horses. Here, most of our horses are from Argentina. We're now breeding our thoroughbred stallion with Argentine mares so that we can capitalize on the good bone density of, of the horses and stuff from Argentina. And all the mares that we were breeding have played and performed here. So 100% of what we produce are going to the field. What characteristics do polo ponies have that maybe a traditional horse would not? It has to be very brave and very calm because when there's eight horses in traffic out there at 35 miles an hour, you can't have a horse panic or, or blow up or you know run off with somebody. So the intelligence and the calmness is probably the most important. Short back, athletic ability, ability to stop quickly and turn, very, very important. And I would say in the game, a horse is 75% of it. So a lot of training and stuff goes into getting the ponies to the field. Do you have any tips for beginners? It's like skiing or it's like anything. If you take a lesson to start, you won't develop bad habits. You'll start on a safe horse. So all you'll have to think about is actually the ball, hitting the ball, and executing what the teacher tells you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.